it's absolutely fantastic here. <laughs> what a gorgeous place. Five minutes from me. <laughs> Hi, my friends. Nice to see you. Today I'm here in my very local area, once more through the corona situation. You know, we have a quarantine here in Austria, with exceptions, so this means we are allowed to go out, but not all too far from our home and also not all too long. So this place here is around five minutes from me with a bicycle, so it's a really beautiful lake. I think in a moment you can't really see the lake maybe behind the trees there. <laughs> if not, you will be able to see it soon, for sure. So, it's a really close lake and so I also know it really well. I've often been here already for, only for a walk, maybe with my family, with my children, my wife and so on. Or also for swimming in summer. But as beautiful it is, it's really difficult to get a really fantastic photo here, I think, because when it's too close to me, I always thought that's too unspectacular when I'm in an area that is too close to my home. But that's not really the case, to be honest. So I'm really happy with the photographs I took on my last tour out on the Wild River. It's really amazing, I'm really happy with them. And I thought, let's go out today to this beautiful lake here. And also if it's difficult to get a photograph, just try it and just enjoy it. <laughs> this is so important. The most important thing in landscape photography. Just enjoy it, enjoy the nature, get into connection. And as it's not really possible in the moment to hike up on the mountains because we are too long out then, I'm really happy to, to try to get this feeling of, of a Worcester photograph, also if, if it's crappy maybe afterwards. Oh, I think I, I will try for it. And what I want to do now is, I want to check out a couple of spots and come back tomorrow morning with my camera gear to try to get out a really great photograph. Hopefully, I'm not sure about that. As I already mentioned, I think it's difficult. Why it's difficult, we will see at the spots. So, let's go. So I'm here now at the first spot where I thought that I maybe could find anything. But the only thing what I, I didn't consider or what I didn't think about is the water level is too high, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't expect that we will have too much water because it didn't rain all too much in last time, to be honest. The water level is managed here at this lake, so I didn't think about it. <laughs> when you look back there, there's a bridge and, and there it's it's leveled, the water is held back so that it can go down to the river. And that's not really great here, to be honest, because we can't walk around here. <laughs> and I, I want to walk around here to find a composition. Usually you can go out there and there and everywhere. <laughs> you can go wherever you want. And I also don't have my, my right shoes with me. <laughs> so this is a little bit tricky, to be honest. But what I really love here today is these are these, I don't know what this is, these special plants here. 
maybe you can have a look when you know what it is just comment below the video this looks really nice i'm not sure what it is it's not reed or something like this it's anything else i'm not sure i'm not a, a botanic expert and what i really love is we have such a plant also here in this water and what i also see here we have these stones what are laying here on the ground what give us a little curve and so we, we get a, a little curve into our frame so maybe this could work as a foreground because it also will tell the story because these plants grow obviously a little bit below the water when we look around here so it's a water plant i think this could maybe work so i think i will try for a composition and anyway i will decide afterwards which of the spots what i want to have a look i will choose for tomorrow morning so let's try for it I found the rough composition it doesn't look all too bad to be honest I have to think a little bit about it obviously and to compare with the others I hopefully will find today so I think I will head up to the next spot now and try for the next one I'm a little bit surprised to be honest uh, with this spot I didn't expect to get to get a foreground here obviously the only thing what could happen tomorrow is that the water level will change. This is something I, I don't really can estimate because as already mentioned it's done by humans so I'm not sure about it in the moment, we will see. <laughs> what I originally thought about this spot was only to take a teleshot because I think this area behind there where the mountains meet looks really pretty good and when we also use the reflection lines of the mountains I thought this could really look pretty good but I think the composition the raw composition what I found already I think this has really more potential to get out a really great photograph it's absolutely amazing so I will head up to the next spot now and let's see what I can get there so let's go at the next spot and it looks really fantastic it's difficult to find a foreground here to be honest so it's a usual shoreline here so it's it's really difficult because also it's it's a bigger lake it's not the, the biggest lake of the world obviously but it's a bigger one so it's really difficult to work with foregrounds and to have a mountain back there because you get so much water in the midground and this could really get the picture a little bit out of balance and what I think what could look really fantastic here is I think about making here a panel maybe with the left mountain, the mountain in the distance and also the mountain at the right. So I think this could look really pretty good. The only thing, obviously we also need something what leads you into the frame. And I think what really could work here were the reflection lines of the mountains. I think we, we don't see them all too well in the moment, but there are some. 
at the right and also on the left and we could use this to lead into the frame. The only thing what I'm not really happy about is the weather conditions. So I think this photograph would look much better when we had low clouds, maybe a little bit of mist rising up from the lake. So I think this could look really fantastic. And what I think is maybe it's a better idea to come back at another time of the year, maybe in autumn or something like this. But I'm not 100% sure. As I already mentioned, I will have a look at it at home and yeah, I also will take a test shot and we will see what the final shot will be then. By the way, this lake is the Lake Hallstatt. So maybe you know Hallstatt, this is this village here in Austria where the salt was invented. So Hallstatt is behind this right mountain. Straight behind there is Hallstatt. And we can't see it from here obviously because it's behind the mountain. But yeah, it's a really fantastic place here. <laughs> so beautiful. Up there is a path. I've been so many times here for a walk with my family. So many times for driving with the bicycle or whatever. It's really fantastic here. It's really great to live here in this area. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> so let's try for it. now at the third spot and it looks really fantastic here. We have the lake here and back there this village, I'm not sure if you can see this with the wide angle lens, it's so far away, but you can see Hallstatt over there. But also for the photograph we wouldn't really see that it's Hallstatt. So what I really find fantastic here is we have this platform here, we can use it as foreground and get depth into our photograph, what looks really pretty good, I will show you. The only thing, we are not allowed to enter the platform, but I don't want to go there. The only question here is now the light. And as the sun will come from behind, I think it's not the best idea for tomorrow morning. I think it's more a location for sunset, obviously, because the sun will go down at that side. So we maybe would get light on that mountain on the left. So this could look really fantastic. And it also could work on another time of the year, maybe, when the sun goes up more at that direction, so that we get the mountain illuminated from the left, the distance mountain. So I'm not 100% sure what I want to do tomorrow. In the moment it looks really fantastic because we have a few light spots back there on the distance mountain and shadow here in the foreground and the midground. It's a really fantastic place, <laughs> absolutely amazing. good morning. I'm already on the way to location. Finally I decided for the first spot of yesterday. I was really a little bit surprised about this to be honest because as I already mentioned yesterday usually it's only possible to take a teleshot there. You don't have possibilities for a foreground and as we got a higher water level it's really an opportunity I think what I should use. So the only problem at the moment is I didn't get new weather maps overnight, so 
they crashed. Usually there are all six hours calculated new weather maps, but today I got empty weather maps and that's not really useful. <laughs> and so I'm unsure in the moment because of the weather. But however, I'm here now. I will try to get up the best of the photograph, however the weather is. <laughs> so let's go. So an important thing here in this composition is we have this plant there. I'm not sure what it is. As you already mentioned, if you know which kind of plant this is, just comment it below the video. And it's really a fantastic foreground as it's in the water. It leads us into the frame. Also these stones, what I, I showed you yesterday, they lead us into the frame. And what's really important here is I tried to get an isolation of the plant to the surrounding because if I don't do this I get overlapping lines so we can try this if I go too deep you see that we get an overlapping to the mountain line back there and also to the grasses back there mountain line is maybe not the biggest problem oh, it's also it's also a problem it's better if it's isolated and when you look at the mountain back there the, the reflection of the mountain the higher I go the smaller the reflection gets and the lower I get, the higher the reflection gets. So it's really tricky here to find the balance between enough mountain and no overlapping lines for the plant there. It's absolutely fantastic here. <laughs> what a gorgeous place. Five minutes from me. <laughs> so I think it doesn't look all too bad. Let's make the click. Meanwhile, I also think it's really possible that we get a little bit of light on the mountains back there. Also without checking the weather maps. Because yesterday I saw in the weather maps that there are absolutely no clouds in the east. And this could be. I don't see there because we have a mountain there in the east. But it's really gappy up there and it's, it's really fantastic. We don't have clouds here and we also don't have clouds there. The only place we have clouds is there where we really want to have them back there above our mountain so it looks really fantastic so that mountain back there is the highest of all these mountains here so usually the first sunbeams should hit that mountain back there but as it's gappy today we always have a little bit of gaps up there could also be that we will get sunspots at other places of the landscape however what i will do is i will wait here now a little bit maybe for the first sunspots It's such a great day and I think different meanwhile about extreme local areas and I think it's really a great opportunity now in Corona time that we can't go all too far, that we have to stay in our local area. I know not everyone has mountains in his local area and I'm really grateful that I have the possibility to photograph mountains although I didn't appreciate them enough in last time. I think different now and I think I want to do something like this a little bit more often next time, also after Corona time. It's really a beautiful area. 
and also this spot here this is a sand bank so the river comes in from back there and transforms everything here and also depending on the water level everything looks different so I think I will come back there more times in future trying to get some great photographs so I will go home now it's Saturday morning you know what I do on Saturday morning right I load up my new video from last week it was a great video last week I hope you'll enjoy it you have already seen it it's a little bit confusing <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, wherever, I were really happy about and I'm sure also the people you will share the video with were really happy about. So thank you so much for watching, see you next Saturday, thank you, bye. It's the storm oh, that's breaking my heart, each moment while the key